thanks for inviting me to, to present on what experiences we have at WPP. So before we get on to actually talk about storage, I need to tell you what WPP is. It's, it's the world's largest media company. We have over 200,000 employees. We have 1,000 uh, legal entities. We have 3,000 locations. We're almost in any country you can imagine. And uh, we have different workloads. We have different uh, kinds of uh, users. We have uh, office. We have market research. We have creative people. Um, we have uh, PR, um, all kinds of different workloads and, and so on. And what I do at WPP, I am the head of architecture, governance, and platforms, which means I set uh, standards at WPP. Um, I look at the technology choices that we have. Um, and to Lauren's point, we have um, many, many technologies. We can, you can imagine, uh, because we grow through acquisition, we've got uh, NAS, we've got tape, we've got uh, cloud, we've got on-prem, we've got off-prem, you name it. So about three years ago, we went to IBM. We, we signed a contract with IBM on uh, IBM managing our uh, infrastructure. And uh, that includes uh, data centers and desktop support and maintenance and, and, uh, and so on. So that's where we're at with, with those guys. And um, the, our objectives for, really, uh, for WPP is, is about horizontality. It's, it's a word that, that Sir Martin Sorrell uh, talks about a lot. And horizontality actually means that we have all these different companies, hundreds of thousands of users, and they need to be able to work together. And they need to be able to work together in a very agile way. So one day I might be working for one client, and the next day I might be working for another client. And I should be able to do that seamlessly with the technologies that we have. Um, then we come to storage. And, and you're absolutely right, storage is a mess at WPP. We've got everything. We've got so much storage that we don't even know what it is and where it is. So we went to IBM and uh, Satira, and we said, guys, you need to look at our uh, storage and come up with, with a uh, solution for us. And, and we looked at our storage, and, and uh, this is a kind of a life cycle of storage at WPP. It's very typical of any other company, but, but this is how we, we've categorized it. So uh, on the top right-hand side, you've got my files. This is the stuff that I, I work on my laptop or on my desktop. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, it doesn't really need to be stored, uh, archived, or, or managed. Uh, this is uh, a scratch area, for example. Um, then we have our files. This is when, when I collaborate. And it's mostly Office files, uh, Word, Excel, a PowerPoint, where, where I'm, I'm uh, traditional kind of uh, file server storage. That's what we use it for. Then we get to client files. So we have large clients. We do a lot of uh, creative work for them. And uh, this is what we call production content, uh, studio content, uh, video encoding, and so on. It's, it's very large files, and it needs to be stored on-prem in most cases because it's too large to, to actually transport it as well. Um, and then we have application data. So we have uh, market uh, research companies and market uh, trading media companies that, that have uh, large applications, batch processing, and so on. So they need a certain amount of storage for their applications. So then we looked at uh, the use cases for uh, storage at WPP, and, and we looked at uh, client files, and we thought that that's where we can get the best benefits out of Satira. So these are really uh, driven by client engagements. File sizes are typically very large and, and uh, sometimes uh, compressed, and they're really business critical files, because if you lose them, then you lose months of work that you've done with your clients, right? Um, so before we get on to actually implementing anything, we've got to know what our files are. So analyzing the files, making sure that, that we understand our usage patterns and so on, which we, we did. Then we, we need to remove rot, which is redundant, obsolete, trivial data. So we need to look at all the stuff that we don't use anymore that, that we should really get rid of. Then we need to archive some of those files. Anything between three and seven years uh, needs to be archived. Anything before that needs to be uh, removed. Uh, then we sit down with the Satira guys and we look at optimizing the file data and structures. You know, how do, how do we, which, which of these files should we have uh, on-prem, uh, on the edge, or which of them should we have in the cloud as, as backup archive? So that's the sort of like chronological uh, view that, that we take any time that we get the Satira guys to come in and look at our files in a certain location and, and where we put them. 
I'm not going to go through all this, but uh, the thing that, that stands out is really uh, where, we, where we implement into the cloud storage is for backup, recovery, caching, compression, encryption, deduplication, and provision. Really, the, the, the key kind of uh, components of, of why we need uh, cloud storage uh, and why we need to standardize on it. So, as I said earlier, we have every technology you can imagine. And uh, my key driver in, in implementing Satira and IBM Cloud is so that we can standardize through econo economies of scale, then we can reduce our costs and we can reduce our footprints. And the less we have on-prem, the more we put into the cloud, the more manageable it becomes and the less, uh, less we have to sort of like manage on-prem. Um, so how have we deployed uh, deployed Satira. So we've categorized those uh, client files into these assets, render files, project files, and output. This is a kind of a, a creative file categorization within, within those. We have a Satira local gateway that, that manages those uh, files for us. And, and uh, um, as was pointed out, you, know, you, know, you pin the storage that you want on-prem. And most of the time, most users will say, I want everything on-prem. But you know, we have to go through that process and make sure that, that they absolutely uh, keep what they need. Uh, and then uh, it's backed up into multiple tenants in, into the Satira portal. And we have re regional uh, portals. So we have one for EMEA, North America, and so on. Uh, and then that's backed up into the IBM cloud uh, object storage. Um, so, so that if somebody is roaming or if we've got somebody in a remote uh, region who needs access to those files, they can just plug in and, and, and get access. It's not as efficient and performant as if you had it on-prem, but this is the world we live in. If somebody in Buenos Aires needs access files from, from London, then that's, that's the, the cheapest, best performant way to do it. So we've had a lot of success. We've, we've deployed uh, Satira in multiple locations, and there are um, users who are using it uh, quite successfully. And we're very happy with the product, and, and we're expanding, as, as you know, we've been talking about how, how much we're expanding by. Um, somebody yesterday asked me, so what's, what's your vision for storage at WPP? Uh, it's, it's an interesting question. It's, it's a difficult one, and I think Ginny this morning was talking about uh, storage and how it's, it's expanding and exploding, and, and we're getting to a point where we don't know what, where our data is and we don't know what our data is. Using Satira and, and cloud storage, it allows us to have a certain level of control over that uh, um, storage, those files. And, and then we can analyze those files, we can see what the usage patterns are, uh, and then hopefully optimize them in the future. But without them being somewhere where we can, we can touch them and feel them, the, uh, then, then it's very hard to actually do that. That's, that's my presentation.